This is huge. Hey guys, super excited today. We're on our way to the Queen Victoria Market. It's the largest market in the Southern Hemisphere, allegedly, and they sell tons of different food items. And we're gonna go try a bunch of their food out. Yeah, we are. Are you excited? I am. It's super busy. Those produce guys were yelling like, what do you call them? Auctioneers. Yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh. I am starving, so we're gonna start out with a quick snack. What are we gonna get, Rand? I have no idea. We're gonna get donuts. Donuts? Is that what the Rand wants? Let's get donuts. We're gonna wait in line for like 20 minutes for donuts. I hope it's worth it, Rand. All right, take a look in there. What do you think? Looks pretty good to me. They're incredibly hot. Mm, jelly filled? I had no idea. I'm sure don't know. The jam's nice. It's like a fresh strawberry jam. On the side, it said Raz Plum. Oh, okay. Sure, you, there you go. Whatever. It tastes fresh. Yeah, the, the donut itself just isn't that good. <laughs> Harsh critic. My turn. I like it. It's good. I think, at least compared to American donuts, there's less like sugar in the dough. Yeah. Mmm, I like the jam. I guess that's where they want the sweetness to come in. I like it. I'm glad you do. You can have the rest of that bag. I just don't think Alan likes donuts that much. I don't. Now that we've had a snack and I'm fed, we're gonna go check out the produce section. Pro tip, if you go over on this side, the produce is way cheaper, like half or a quarter. Getting cheaper. one avocado. I think those are the cheapest avocados in Australia. They are at the 50 cents. What is this? It's a custard apple. Really? That's what they called it. Now we're gonna head to the deli section. Last time we were here, we saw somebody selling fancy cheese toasties. A toasty is kind of like a grilled cheese and Alan loves cheese, so. We gotta go try out a fancy cheese toasty. And then we're going to check out the deli section, which has all sorts of cured meats, cheese, and baked goods. They're doing samples. Hold on. It's like a fancy Costco. Which one do you want to try? Ah, uh, that one. <laughs> Is that brie? Double brie. Double brie, okay. Thank you. That's so good. Yeah. Do you want to try one? I'm okay. Do you want to try this? No. Oh. Do you want to get some? I might. I got more cheese samples. Hi. Hi. Would you like to try? Yes, please. I think he wants to try too. <laughs> Do you want uh, the brie or the gouda? Ooh, which one would you recommend? Oh, you can try both if you want. I'll start with the brie. <laughs> Do you want some black currant? Yes, please. Thank you so much. <laughs> I've never had black currant. That's good. Why are you laughing? I was just thinking about that tweaker. <laughs> hey, he's hungry, you know? Can't blame him, I'm getting free food. I'm doing the same thing. Yeah. Oh, that looks like good. So this is a fancy cheese shop that makes fancy cheese toasties. Look at all the cheese. Mm. 
Here you go. Thank you. Thank Enjoy. You. Thank you. Just look at this thing. It's a thing of beauty. It was expensive though. Twelve dollars Australian. That's like nine US dollars for a grilled cheese. <laughs> I hope it's good though. It does look fantastic. It looks tasty. Mm. It is fantastic. It's like sharp cheddar cheese. It's so good. And they like cheese the outside too, so it's like fried cheese onto it. It's delicious. It's one of the best things I've eaten in Australia. And now to watch my better half eat the better half. Eat the better half? Why is this the better half? Oh yeah. Oh, look at that nothing, cheese pull. Nothing quite like filming a little bit of cheese pornography. Oh, I love cheese. I normally hate pickles, but they're so good with this. Mm. Now what should we try? I don't know, Rand. These sausages. We do sausages. I want to try a lamington. All right. All sorts of spices. Booze. I'm bummed our schedule is so messed up because Melbourne is supposed to have really, really good coffee. See, Rand, that's what I was looking at. Like, look at that. That? Yeah, like all those sausages. They look pretty good, don't they? I do want to try a lamington. Get a lamington. Hello. Hi. Do you want the lamington? She just ordered the last ones. Look, more desserts. Do they have lamingtons? going to the meat section because it's right next to the deli. It's like right through a door here and there's all sorts of tasty meat right behind this door. And I'm about to get COVID. Yeah, here we go. Mmm, smells awful. <laughs> I hate the way it smells in here so much. Place becomes a giant refrigerator and they just butcher up a bunch of meat. It's a sausage party. They have so many pre-seasoned and marinated things that are like hard on and ready to go. They really love their like honey soy and peanut satay here. What is this? They're like chicken thighs. 10 for 10? That's not bad. Affordable murder products. Yeah. I am excited for when, uh, whenever lab meat it's good enough to just, you know. know. It looks delicious. It just evokes certain emotions in a man. I think we've seen enough of this. We're gonna go to the food court now. All this meat's making me hungry. We found a Sri Lankan place. It's supposed to be the best place. We read about it on a blog. It's supposed to be delicious, so let's find out. That one. Yeah, that one. Thank you. This is a lamb vindaloo with a sport, very authentic chili chicken. Looks really good. Some sort of curried potato, uh, sort of a biryani rice, you have papadum, what looks like some other curried vegetables. I think that's like a little chunk of pumpkin in there, very good. And some sort of uh, yogurt, 
on a mango lassi. The pumpkin looks really good, so I'm gonna give it a try. Left the skin on, and uh, I, I wouldn't do that myself, but I guess you can. It is not shitty at all. I'm like shocked for it being like basically mall food court food, right? It's good. Let's try this uh, chili chicken. I'm gonna start out with the mango lassi. Lassi is like a yogurt kind of drink. It's good. I think I had a similar one in Japan. That one was more sour though, which I kind of liked. This is lamb vindaloo. Mm, that's good, I like it. And this was some sort of biryani and like a potato side. I don't know what the potato side is. A little um, plain, but I think you're supposed to have it with curry on it. Tell me about that salad. What's on it? Like a yogurt sauce? I hate people who do that. Do you eat this like non? You eat it like potato chip. I've never had this before. It's good. Now we're headed to the little shopping section. I need to get a magnet. I collect magnets everywhere we go. And I wanna check out some of the like little tourist goodies and you know, other products they sell. It's not as soft as I was expecting. This is pretty soft though. Is it real? Oh yeah, that's real. Sheepskin. Cow one. I wouldn't get it, but it looks cool. Ooh, there's someone coughing flemily. There's lots of people coughing here. I'm a little bit skeptical that COVID's really gone here. Unlikely to get it, but you know, it's perfect for you. You're not very funny. Yeah. Maybe you should Google how to be funny rant. Consider that. Apparently Uggs are only $60 here. 69. 69 Australian dollars. You're supposed to say nice. Nice. Classy. <laughs> Classic tourist junk. Doesn't matter where you go in the world. This is huge. It's absolutely massive. I kind of like this. That's pretty Australia. Yeah, it is. You should get it. Should I get it? Yeah. You got an Anzac coin? Anzac coin. Doesn't even look like a $1 coin. I haven't seen that one before. It's fun getting all this Australian money. Do you like it? <laughs> These are so cute. Really captures the spirit of it's Melbourne. It's going to go great in our collection. It's going to go great. That was the Queen Victoria Market. Tomorrow we start our road trip to South Australia. So. It's a really iconic Australian drive. You'll probably see it in the next video that we post. See you guys soon.